News at 10. A new study shows Fayetteville ranks 12th in the nation for driving under the influence. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Pignate. And I'm Nate Custer. KNWA's Denny Camper live in studio now to show us the devastating consequences of drinking and driving. Denny. Chuck Murray met Kathy Mellinger when they were both part of a play at the University of Arkansas. Five years later, they were engaged in planning their wedding when a drunk driver shattered their life together. One day we had our entire lives ahead of us, and then the next day it was just... It was just over. Seven years ago, a drunk driver took the life of Chuck Murray's fiance, Kathy Mellinger. I held her hand um, for three hours while her, she gasped for breath, and then eventually she she took her she took her last breath. The driver, Dorothy Shannon Hill of Farmington, had alcohol, opiates, and marijuana in her system when she drove the wrong way down I-49, hitting Kathy's car. Kathy's passenger, Sean Mabry, was killed instantly. Kathy died at the hospital three days later. She didn't, she didn't know Kathy. She didn't know Sean. Dorothy has no idea how amazing they were, and she has no idea how big of a loss this is. Murray says he still doesn't understand why people choose to drink and drive. It's not just you. It's everybody that's out there on the road with you. There are so many ways to avoid even putting yourself in a position to get a DWI, let alone hurting someone, you know, in the process. Corporal Dallas Brashears with the Fayetteville Police Department says drunk driving is a problem in the city, but police are dedicated to ensuring safety. We go out and aggressively look for DWIs, and it's, it's more an attempt to, you know, help save lives than get people in trouble. Mary says even seven years later, the pain from the loss of his fiance is still agonizing. Dorothy didn't just killed two people. She took hundreds of lives. The ripple effect is just unbelievable. Dorothy Shannon Hill pleaded guilty to two counts of negligent homicide. She was sentenced to 18 years in prison but was granted parole earlier this month. Live in studio, Denny Camper, KWA Northwest Arkansas News.